Today we're going to show you how to improve the reliability and uptime of motors operated by variable frequency drives. First, we will test the VFD induced shaft voltages and bearing currents. Then we will show you how to prevent this cause of bearing failure with the Aegis bearing protection ring. And we will finally test the motor again to prove the effectiveness of the Aegis ring solution. Adjustable speed drives are used to operate motors for both energy savings and to control processes. Applications range from smaller motors of one horsepower to those of thousands. Because of their design, electronics potentially create harmful shaft voltages and bearing currents. These voltages discharge through your motor's bearing, which pits the bearing race and can eventually lead to including damage, which can cause premature bearing damage, downtime, and even critical failure. I want to show you how to test whether a motor is experiencing this problem. We'll connect the ground lead on the high frequency ground strap. We have the shaft voltage probe attached to the tester. This is a conductive microfiber tip touching the spinning shaft so we can read any voltage on the scope's display. Shaft voltage tester shows the motor is experiencing continuous shaft voltages. The easiest way to identify the bearing discharge is to look at the voltage waveform by freezing the display screen. Looking at the screen, you see a slow increase in voltage followed by a very sharp decrease, also known as a spike. This has also created a damaging pit in the bearing race. These pits are happening thousands of times per second. Now that we know there is a problem, we will install the ring to provide a safe path to ground from these destructive voltages. We are going to do this with the Aegis UK. This is designed to be fitted directly on the motor's end bracket. First, we'll clean the shaft and remove any paint and any material on the shaft with this emery bar. We'll then coat the shaft with a colloidal silver shaft coating to enhance conductivity. Quickly dry it with the heat gun, and now we're ready to install the U-kit. We previously drilled and tapped the mounting holes in the motor's end bracket. Make sure the ring is centered on the shaft. Next, we'll tighten the screws. This will secure the ring to the motor's end bracket. I'll take another reading now to show you the shaft grounding ring is working properly. Again, we'll position the shaft voltage probe so that the microfiber tips are touching the shaft. Notice the shaft voltage is gone because the grounding ring is the path of least resistance. It's taking the voltage from the shaft to the housing of the motor, right to ground, avoiding the bearings. The motor is now protected from discharges. It is doing its job effectively. Command not only carries the entire line of Aegis brand products, but a full range of industrial products and services. Command is your one-stop resource for solutions to your production and maintenance problems.